Hermione, I'm sorry to say it, but all that studying you're doing can't be healthy. If you're not careful, your brain's going to burst, you know? I appreciate your concern, Ron. I think. She up there. Meet Buck Peak. Beautiful, isn't he? Now, the first thing you gotta know about hippogriffs is they're proud. You always wait for a hippogriff to make the first move. It's polite, see? You walk towards him, and you bow, and you wait. If he bows back, you're allowed to touch him. Harry, Ron, Hermione, who wants to go first?
that was amazing. You really know how to handle it. I'd say that was an A+. Plus. Good work. Give me a go at that thing. This will be easy. You're not dangerous at all, are you? You ugly great brute. Malfoy, no! Oh. <clears throat> You're not dying, it's just a scratch. Harry made his way to the Quidditch match, unaware that events that day would take an even worse turn. As the Gryffindor team struggled against the weather, Harry caught sight of a giant black dog high in the stands. An eerie silence fell across the stadium, and a horribly familiar wave of cold swept over him. Mentors swarmed over the pitch, and with his mother's screams ringing in his ears, Harry fell from his broom and knew no more. 